Hello everyone and welcome back to another how-to tutorial. In today's video, I will show you how to change your Discord username. Discord is changing its username system by removing the four-digit discriminators and introducing new unique usernames and display names. Users will have the option to change their username from the old format with the discriminator to a new format without the discriminator. These changes will be implemented gradually. Considering factors such as the user's registration date, nitro status, and ownership of partner and verified servers. The first thing you need to do is open Discord on a web browser or the app. I am using the Discord app. If necessary, log into your account. Once Discord is loaded, you may notice a bright yellow notification at the top indicating that action is needed to update your username. If it has been a while since you last opened Discord, you may also see a notification covering the screen. However, since this is the second time I've opened Discord, since the username change was rolled out, I don't have that notification on my screen. So, no need to worry. What you should do is click on Get Started. This will bring up a pop-up menu where Discord provides a brief explanation of what's happening. Once again, click on Get Started. Now you can choose a display name and click Next. After that, you can choose your new username and click Submit. There you go. The username has been selected. Click on Got It. And that's it. Your Discord username has been updated or changed depending on the action you took. Finally, if you want to change your Discord username or display name again, click on the user settings at the bottom left. You should now be able to see your display name and username. If you want to make any changes, click on Edit. Make the necessary changes. Re-enter your Discord password and then click Done. Finally, click on the Escape icon to close the window. You have been watching a how-to tutorial by Aspiration. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to click or tap that subscribe button. If you want to receive notifications for every new video, you can also turn on the notification bell by clicking or tapping it. Additionally, feel free to leave a comment below. Your ideas and suggestions are always welcome. Until the next time, take care of yourself.